Welcome to Talk in English. Hey there, folks. Today, I want to share some of my dating experiences with you in a simple and friendly manner. Dating can be quite an adventure, whether you're meeting new friends or looking for that special someone. Let's dive into my dating journey. First dates are always nerve-wracking, especially when you don't know the other person well. I remember my first date back in college when I asked out a girl from my class. We chose a cozy little restaurant and ordered a shared pizza with two scoops of ice cream. At first, I felt a bit awkward, not knowing what to say. Luckily, being classmates, we started talking about school, and that helped us both relax. This date taught me that the key to dating is to be yourself and not try too hard to impress. The next date was even more exciting. I met a friend of a friend at a social event. During the event, I connected with several new people, but there was one person who stood out. We started chatting and discovered many shared interests, especially our love for movies. So, we decided to go on a movie date. This experience taught me that common interests can be a bridge to deeper connections and provide great conversation topics. However, not every date goes smoothly. Once, I agreed to a blind date, where I had no idea who the person was, introduced to me by a friend. We chose a fancy restaurant, but when I saw her, I was a bit surprised. She looked different from her pictures, but I decided to respect her and give it a chance. Though our interests were somewhat different, we managed to find some common ground, like our love for travel and food. Even though this date didn't go as expected, I learned an important lesson to respect everyone and not judge based on appearances alone. Then there was a date that made me feel incredibly lucky. I met an intriguing girl, and our first date was at an outdoor music concert. The atmosphere was fantastic, and we chatted while enjoying the music. We talked about music, travel, and various aspects of life. This date felt relaxed and enjoyable, as if we had known each other for a long time. It made me realize that the key to a successful date is having mutual interests and feeling comfortable in each other's company. I decided to try something different on one occasion. I invited a girl to go rock climbing, even though she had no prior experience. We rented the gear and started climbing. This date was thrilling because rock climbing is a challenging activity that requires teamwork and trust. We encouraged each other and helped each other reach higher. In the end, we both felt accomplished, and this date brought us closer together. Of course, not all dates go smoothly. One time, I took a girl to a high-end restaurant, and I accidentally ordered an extremely spicy dish. I ended up sweating profusely, and it was quite embarrassing. Another time, we went to see a horror movie. And she screamed so loudly that I got scared too. Despite these awkward moments, we both ended up laughing about them, and these experiences became fun anecdotes to share. Lastly, I want to share a particularly romantic date. My current girlfriend and I went to a beautiful park where we rented a small boat to paddle on a lake. The sunset reflecting on the water created a romantic ambience. We chatted while paddling, 
sharing our stories and dreams. This date left me feeling incredibly happy and made me understand that the real purpose of dating is to build deep connections and share our lives. In conclusion, dating is an adventure filled with surprises and challenges. Each date comes with its own story and experiences, but they all help us grow and appreciate every encounter in life. Whether it's a smooth date or an awkward moment, they are all valuable parts of life, helping us grow and cherish each meeting. I hope my dating experiences bring you some inspiration and joy. Hey there, folks. Today, I'd like to share some of my personal dating experiences with you. These stories might strike you as interesting, or they might provide you with some inspiration for your own dating adventures. Either way, I hope my tales bring a little joy into your life. First dates are always an exciting affair, and I remember my very first one in high school. At the time, I received an invitation from a classmate to attend a school dance with a guy I had a major crush on. I recall spending the entire night feeling nervous, not knowing what to wear, how to do my makeup, and what topics to discuss. In the end, I settled on a pretty dress, some light makeup, and eagerly awaited his arrival. When he finally showed up, my nervousness eased a bit. We danced together, chatted, and had a wonderful evening. Even though we didn't end up together in the long run, that experience still holds a special place in my memory. During my college days, I met someone intriguing, and we often frequented coffee shops and movie theaters together. On one occasion, we decided to do something out of the ordinary and took a pottery class. We made ceramic cups, and while our creations weren't perfect, we had a blast during our time together. This date made me realize that dating doesn't always have to involve fancy restaurants or luxurious getaways. Simple activities can also bring great happiness. Then, there was the time I attended an outdoor music festival with a guy. It was a starry night, and the music blended with nature, creating a mesmerizing atmosphere. We sat on the grass, hand in hand, and enjoyed the music, and it felt incredibly romantic. Sometimes, a date doesn't need extravagant planning. Having that special someone by your side is enough. I also remember a date to an art museum with a guy. Even though I wasn't particularly enthusiastic about museums before, this date changed my perspective. We discussed the paintings, delved into history, and it gave me a whole new appreciation for art and history. This date not only brought us closer but also deepened my understanding of art and history. On one occasion, I was invited to an adventure date with a guy. We went hiking, mountain climbing, and even tried skiing. Initially, I was scared of these activities, but his company made me feel safe. This experience taught me that a date can be an adventure and a challenge, as long as you both enjoy the thrill. One memorable date involved a trip to the zoo with a guy. We watched adorable animals while chatting and enjoying each other's company. It brought me immense joy. 
This date taught me that dating doesn't have to be extravagant. It's the time spent together that creates beautiful memories. Apart from these delightful experiences, I've also had some not so pleasant dating experiences. On one occasion, I went to a restaurant with a guy, but he was glued to his phone the entire time, hardly engaging in any conversation with me. It made me feel extremely uncomfortable, and I wished he'd pay more attention to our date. Sometimes, a successful date depends not only on the choice of activities, but also on interaction and communication. There was another time when I went to a movie theater with a guy, but he chose a movie I had absolutely no interest in. I was bored throughout the film and wished we'd picked something that both of us could enjoy. This experience taught me that it's important to consider each other's interests and preferences on a date to ensure both parties have a good time. In summary, my dating experiences have been a mix of joy, learning, and occasional setbacks. Through these experiences, I've gained valuable insights into love and relationships. Firstly, dating is not just about having fun. It's about getting to know each other better and forming a deep emotional connection. Secondly, dating doesn't have to break the bank. Simple activities and sincere communication are equally vital. Most importantly, a successful date should leave both parties feeling happy and fulfilled. I hope my dating experiences provide you with some inspiration for your own romantic journey, whether you're a novice dater or have plenty of experience. Remember, being genuine and caring towards each other is the key to building a wonderful relationship. May your dates be filled with laughter and warmth. And may you find that special someone to share beautiful moments with. Hey there, folks. Today, I want to chat with you all about some of my personal dating experiences. Dating is a fantastic journey that allows us to get to know each other better and create unforgettable memories. While I'm no dating expert, I believe everyone has some interesting dating stories, so let's dive right in. First dates are always a mix of excitement and nerves. I still remember my very first date vividly. It was back in my college days when I decided to go see a movie with a girl I had a crush on. I spent a lot of time picking the perfect movie and even chose a thoughtful little gift. When I went to pick her up, my heart was racing. However, once we sat down in the movie theater and started chatting, the nervousness slowly faded away. We discussed a lot of interesting topics and shared a bucket of popcorn. Although it was a simple date, it remains one of the most memorable days of my life. Apart from movies, I've also tried some unconventional dating ideas. Once, I took a girl who was a big fan of outdoor activities to a nearby park. We brought a picnic basket, enjoyed delicious food, had great conversations, and even went hiking together. The weather was perfect that day, the scenery was stunning, and we had a fantastic time. This date not only allowed me to learn more about her interests but also deepened our connection. Sometimes, dates can be full of surprises. I remember one time when I went out for dinner with a girl. 
At the restaurant, she suddenly suggested that we go stargazing. We drove to a quiet spot in the outskirts, away from the city's light pollution. There, we lay on the grass, gazing up at the starry sky, and shared our dreams and wishes with each other. It was a simple date but made me feel incredibly happy and amazed. Of course, not every date goes perfectly. There was one time when I went to a newly opened restaurant with a girl, and the service was terrible, and the food was not great either. Both of us felt awkward, but luckily, we turned that bad experience into a funny anecdote, and we often laugh about it when reminiscing about that date. It taught me that not all dates are smooth sailing, but what's important is how we can overcome difficulties together and build a stronger connection. Through these experiences, I've learned some important lessons about dating. Firstly, honesty and communication are crucial. Expressing our feelings and expectations honestly can prevent misunderstandings and unpleasant experiences during dates. Secondly, staying relaxed is vital. Dates are meant to be enjoyable, so don't get too worked up or worry excessively. Most importantly, respect each other's feelings and boundaries. Everyone has their preferences and comfort zones, so ensuring that your date feels comfortable and respected is paramount. In conclusion, dating is a wonderful adventure that allows us to get to know each other better and create meaningful connections. Whether it's a simple date or one filled with surprises, each date is unique and worth cherishing. I hope that all of you can find happiness and beautiful moments in your own dating experiences. Hello everyone! Today, I'd like to talk about some of my personal dating experiences. Dating is a wonderful way to get to know someone and take that first step into the world of relationships. Each date is a unique experience, teaching me valuable lessons and helping me better understand both myself and others. I hope to take you on a journey through some of these enjoyable and enlightening moments. I vividly recall my very first date, as if it were just yesterday. It was a sunny afternoon when we agreed to meet at a cozy little cafe. I arrived early, sat at a corner table, and kept glancing at the entrance, eagerly awaiting his arrival. When he walked in, I felt an inexplicable mix of nervousness and excitement, but excitement won the day. We exchanged smiles, sat down, ordered our coffees, and embarked on our first date. During our date, we had an incredibly enjoyable conversation. We talked about our hobbies and shared amusing anecdotes from our lives. His sense of humor was contagious making me burst into laughter more than a few times. We even delved into deeper subjects like life goals and future plans. That afternoon was filled with warmth and laughter, leaving me with a stronger sense of anticipation and confidence for future dates. In addition to cafe dates, I'm a big fan of dinner dates. One memorable time, he invited me to a French restaurant. I dressed in a beautiful dress, and he looked dashing in a suit. The restaurant's ambience was incredibly romantic, with champagne and exquisite cutlery on the table. 
As we savored our meal, we shared stories about ourselves. In the candlelit setting, our conversation grew even more profound. I discovered he was an incredibly attentive person, always caring about my well-being, which made me feel so cherished. We discussed many things, from love and family to our visions of the future. That evening was filled with happiness and contentment, making it seem like we were meant for each other. Apart from the usual date venues, outdoor dates have given me some fantastic memories. Once, he suggested we go to a park for outdoor activities. We rode bikes together, feeling the rush of the wind against our faces. In the sunshine, we chatted and enjoyed the scenic beauty around us. This relaxed setting brought us closer and strengthened our connection. At the park, we even joined an outdoor yoga class. The yoga exercises relaxed our bodies and minds, and we felt more energetic afterward. He had a graceful yoga style that made me sneak a few extra glances. We laughed together. Challenged various yoga poses and relished the dynamic and joyful moments. This date taught me that happiness can be found in simple, close to nature experiences. Sometimes dating can be a way to meet new friends. I once participated in a group date organized by a friend and met some interesting people. During the event, I struck up a conversation with a guy who shared my love for music. We attended a concert together and bonded over our favorite tunes. This group date allowed me to enjoy the social aspects of dating and expand my circle of friends. Through these dating experiences, I've gained valuable insights into relationships and love. Each date is an opportunity for growth and learning, offering a better understanding of oneself and others. I've learned to listen, share, and appreciate. Dating is not just a means of getting to know someone; it's an experience that helps us discover ourselves and find happiness. I hope you can also find genuine connections and cherish the beautiful moments that love brings. That wraps up my thoughts on dating experiences. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any interesting dating stories or experiences to share, please feel free to tell me. Let's journey together on the path of love and create more beautiful memories. Hey there, folks. Today, I'd like to chat about some of my dating experiences. Dating, you know, it's that exciting yet nerve-wracking thing that can either be a part of your life or the start of something real. Let's dive into a few of my encounters, and hopefully, you'll find them relatable or entertaining. First dates are always unforgettable, right? I remember back in my college days when I went on a date with a campus sweetheart. We picked a quiet coffee shop because it's the kind of place where you can actually chat and get to know each other. I was so nervous; my palms were sweaty, and I had no clue what to say. Luckily, she was just as nervous. We ordered coffee at the cafe and settled at a corner table. The initial awkwardness quickly faded as we found some light topics to discuss. We talked about interests, courses, and life in general. 
It was a simple date, but it marked the beginning of my dating journey. I believe having shared interests is a key ingredient in building a connection. Once, I dated a girl who was all about outdoor adventures. We decided to go hiking together because we both had a deep love for nature. We chose a scenic mountain area, packed our backpacks, and hit the trail. Throughout the hike, we admired the beauty of nature, helped each other overcome challenges, and shared lots of laughter. At the summit, we enjoyed lunch together, which was an amazing moment. This date taught me that shared hobbies can bring people closer. Food is an essential part of any date, right? I recall going on a date with a food enthusiast. We embarked on a culinary journey, exploring various restaurants in the city and savoring a variety of delicious dishes. We started at a cozy family-owned eatery, indulging in authentic home-cooked dishes. Then, we headed to an upscale restaurant, treating ourselves to exquisite cuisine and fine wines. This date not only satisfied our taste buds, but also deepened our understanding of each other. One time, I had a fantastic date with someone who had a passion for arts and music. We began by visiting an art gallery, where we marveled at some incredible artworks. Later, we attended a live music concert, reveling in the enchanting tunes. This date made me realize that art and music can provide insights into someone's personality. After the concert, we discussed our shared love for music and our favorite artists and paintings. It deepened our connection significantly. One day, after getting to know each other for a while, my partner and I decided to introduce each other to our families. This was a significant date as it indicated a further step in our relationship. I remember visiting her home, meeting her parents, and getting to know her siblings. I was nervous, but her family turned out to be friendly and welcoming. Later, she came to my place, met my parents and relatives. This date strengthened our relationship and made us feel fortunate to have such support and understanding from our families. Sometimes, dating isn't all within the same city or region. I went through a period of long-distance dating, which presented its own unique challenges. My partner and I lived in different cities, but we made an effort to stay in touch and met up from time to time. Though long-distance dating had its hurdles, it also made us appreciate our time together more. Every meeting turned into a special date, and we planned various activities to make the most of our precious moments. This experience taught me the importance of perseverance and cherishing love. The most special date has to be saved for last, right? I vividly recall that unforgettable night when I planned a romantic proposal. I took a ring and headed to a beautiful beach, waiting for the sunset. As the sun slowly dipped below the horizon, I got down on one knee and proposed, and she gladly accepted. That moment was one of the most beautiful in my life, and it was the most special date of all. It wasn't just a commitment between us, it was a glimpse into a bright future. Through these dating experiences, I've learned valuable lessons about love and relationships. Dating isn't always perfect, but it's an opportunity for growth, self-discovery, and understanding others. Whether it's a first date, shared interests, a culinary adventure, or a family introduction, each date is a precious experience that helps us cherish love. 
No matter where you are in your dating journey, remember to enjoy the present and cherish each other because love is one of life's greatest gifts. I hope my stories have brought you some inspiration and joy. Wishing everyone the best in finding happiness in love. Hello everyone. Today, I'd like to share some of my dating experiences with you. Dating is a unique experience that allows us to learn more about ourselves and potentially meet new friends or romantic partners. I hope that through this article, I can provide you with some interesting stories and insights. First dates are always nerve-wracking. I remember my first date back in high school. I was a young teenager at the time. The guy's name was Jack, and he was a good friend of mine at school. We used to hang out together often, but I had a little crush on him. So, I mustered up the courage to ask him out for dinner. I had been thinking about it for a while and finally worked up the nerve to do it. That evening, I wore a nice dress, put on some light makeup, and headed to the restaurant. I waited there for a while, and Jack arrived right on time. We enjoyed some delicious food and had a conversation. Although I was nervous at first, we soon relaxed and started talking about our interests and dreams. While that date didn't lead to a romantic relationship, we became even closer friends and we remain good friends to this day. As I got older, my dating experiences became more diverse. In college, I met someone very special, a guy named Peter. We crossed paths at a concert, standing next to each other. We struck up a conversation and realized we had some shared interests. Peter was a musician who played the guitar, and I loved to sing. We discovered our mutual passion for music, so we decided to attend another concert together. That night, Peter and I went to a jazz concert. The music filled the air, and we sat together, soaking in the fantastic tunes, feeling a unique connection. Peter's guitar playing was enchanting, and I lost myself in the moment, forgetting everything else around me. After the date, we took a walk and talked about various topics, from music to life. I found being with Peter incredibly easy and enjoyable. Our second date took place in a beautiful park where we strolled through the garden, sharing our stories and dreams. It was a wonderful time, and I felt like I was in a romantic movie scene. Peter told me he liked my smile, and that made me really happy. From then on, we began officially dating and became a couple. My relationship with Peter helped me understand the true meaning of dating. It's not just about getting to know each other, but also about sharing moments of joy. During our time together, we went to various places, sampled different cuisines, and engaged in all sorts of activities. We went to the beach, climbed mountains, attended concerts, and learned new skills together. These experiences brought us closer and strengthened our bond. However, not every date ends with a happy romantic story. I remember one time, I went out with a guy named David, whom I met online. 
We seem to have some common interests, and so we decided to meet up. Unfortunately, that date didn't go as planned. The movie we watched was boring, and we hardly had any conversation. David didn't seem particularly interested in getting to know me. After the date, we didn't stay in touch, and I felt a bit disappointed. That experience taught me that not every date is a success, and sometimes you meet the wrong person. But that's okay because every date is a learning opportunity. I learned how to choose better partners and how to present myself better during dates. Later, I met someone truly special, Alex. We met at a friend's party. He was a friend of a friend. From the very first meeting, I found him fascinating and smart. We had great conversations, and I realized we had many common interests. So. I took the initiative to invite him to a local music festival. That festival was an unforgettable experience. We danced together, enjoyed delicious food, and soaked in the music. In the joyous atmosphere, our attraction to each other grew stronger. Alex told me he liked my wit and sense of humor, and I appreciated his gentlemanly manners and caring nature. Our relationship quickly developed, and soon we became a couple. Spending time with Alex was incredibly joyful. We traveled together, cooked together, watched movies together. And faced challenges together, which deepened our connection. Alex was incredibly considerate and caring, making me feel truly happy. Our relationship taught me what genuine love is, built on mutual respect and care. Every dating experience has its own story, some filled with romance and happiness. While others teach valuable lessons through setbacks and disappointments, regardless of the outcome, each date is a precious experience that helps you understand yourself better and introduces you to different people. Through these dates, I learned how to relate to others, how to be authentic, and how to appreciate genuine feelings. Hello, everyone. Today, I'd like to share some of my personal dating experiences. Dating is a unique social activity that can be both exciting and nerve-wracking. Through these experiences, I've learned a lot about relationships and myself. I hope to bring you some interesting stories and insights in this article, delivered in simple and friendly language. First date jitters. I remember my first date back in high school. It was on a sunny weekend, and I invited a girl I liked to watch a movie with me. I was extremely nervous at the time, not knowing what to wear or what to say. But when I saw her smiling as she walked into the movie theater, my nervousness slowly faded away. We watched a comedy, laughed together, and shared popcorn. Although that date didn't lead to a romantic relationship, it was a valuable experience in my life that taught me to relax and just be myself. A romantic evening several years later. I had a very romantic dating experience. I invited my current partner to spend a special weekend together. We went to a beautiful vacation spot and stayed in a luxurious hotel. In the evening, we took a walk on the beach, 
gazing at the stars and sharing our dreams and aspirations. That night, we forged a deeper emotional connection that strengthened our relationship. This experience taught me that romance isn't about how much money you spend but about sharing genuine feelings. Dating mishaps of course, not every date is a success. One time, I went on a date with someone I thought was interesting, but I quickly realized we didn't have many common interests. We sat awkwardly in a restaurant, struggling to hold a conversation, as if we were from completely different worlds. While that date didn't go as smoothly as I hoped, I learned some important lessons. Dating is not just about finding the right person, it can also help us better understand ourselves and what we need. The challenge of long-distance love for a while, I experienced a long-distance relationship. My partner and I lived in different cities and could only see each other once a month. It was a significant challenge, but it also strengthened our bond. We learned how to stay in touch, support each other, and cherish every moment we spent together. Eventually, we overcame the distance, and now we've been living together for many years with a stronger relationship. Making new friends besides romantic relationships, dating can also help us make new friends. Once, a friend introduced me to a complete stranger, and we decided to attend a music concert together. Although we had no prior connection, we shared a love for music, and we quickly became good friends. This experience made me realize that dating isn't just about forming romantic relationships, it can also lead to new friendships. Through these dating experiences, I've learned a lot about relationships and myself. I've learned to relax and be myself, that romance is about genuine feelings, that dating can help us understand ourselves better, that distance isn't an obstacle, and that dating can lead to new friendships. Each date is an opportunity for learning and personal growth. And I look forward to future dating experiences as I continue to explore the mysteries of human relationships. Thanks for listening. Hello everyone, I'm just an ordinary girl. And today I'd like to share some of my dating experiences with you. Dating for many people, is a mix of excitement and nervousness, and it's also an opportunity to get to know someone better. Through this article, I hope to discuss some of my past dating experiences and the lessons I've learned along the way. I remember my first date back in high school. At that time, I had a crush on a guy in my class, and we had never really had a chance to get to know each other. Finally, one day, he asked me to go see a movie with him. When I received his invitation, I was both thrilled and incredibly nervous. I didn't know what to wear or what to say. When the date finally arrived, I realized he was just as nervous as I was. We both struggled to break the ice. But gradually, we started talking about school, interests, and our future plans. We found that we had a lot in common, which helped us relax. Although that date didn't turn into a long-term relationship, it taught me that the initial nervousness is perfectly normal, and as long as you open up, you can find common ground. A few years later, I had the opportunity to go on a date with a friend of a friend. We decided to take a leisurely walk in a beautiful park and then have dinner together. 
This date was special because we had more time to get to know each other. During our walk, we admired the beautiful scenery and talked about our families, dreams, and life philosophies. I found that the relaxed environment of a walk made it easier to communicate. Our conversation became deeper, and I felt like I understood his inner world better. That evening, we had dinner at a cozy restaurant and enjoyed delicious food. While this relationship also didn't last, I learned a valuable lesson. A relaxed environment can help you get to know each other better, and meaningful conversations are key to building a connection. Once, I went on a date with a guy who was a music enthusiast to a live concert. This was a special date because music was a shared interest. We enjoyed the live music together, swaying to the rhythm. It brought us closer because we could bond over our love for music. After the concert, we found a quiet coffee shop, ordered coffee, and started discussing music, art, and life. I realized that having shared interests can deepen the intimacy of a date and make it easier to connect emotionally. Although this relationship didn't last either, this date taught me that finding common interests can make a date more enjoyable and meaningful. I vividly remember a date with a guy who was passionate about cooking. We decided to take a cooking class together. It was a fun experience as we learned to cook and tried our hand at making delicious dishes. This date not only brought us closer but also left us with new culinary skills. After the class, we savored the dishes we had prepared together. It was incredibly satisfying. This date taught me that experiencing new things together can strengthen a relationship, and it's an opportunity to create wonderful memories. One of my recent and favorite dates was a hiking trip to a nature reserve. My partner and I decided to get away from the city and enjoy the tranquility of nature. We strolled along mountain trails, soaking in the beauty of the outdoors. It was a marvelous experience, as we could escape the noise of the city and enjoy the serenity of nature. During the hike, we talked about our dreams, life perspectives, and future plans. This date brought us closer because we could share our innermost thoughts without external distractions. Through my dating experiences, I've learned a lot about relationships and emotions. Each date is a learning and growth opportunity, regardless of the eventual outcome. The key is to be open, find common ground, create enjoyable experiences, and share genuine feelings. Whether it's the initial nervousness or later intimacy. Every date is a valuable experience that helps us better understand ourselves and others. I hope everyone can find their own happiness and emotional connections through dating. Hey there, folks. Today, I want to chat with you about some of my dating experiences. Dating is a fun social activity that helps us get to know each other better and build strong connections. I believe everyone has some unique and interesting dating stories to share, and I'm no exception. In this piece, I'll reminisce about some of the dating encounters I've had, hoping to bring you some entertainment and inspiration. I can still vividly recall my very first date back in high school. At that time, I had arranged to see a movie with a girl I liked. I remember feeling nervous in the morning, wondering what to wear, 
how to invite her out, and even whether I should hold her hand. Luckily, I had a good friend who gave me some advice, stay confident, be yourself, and, most importantly, respect the other person. That evening, I walked to the movie theater with the wind in my hair and found her waiting for me. She approached me with a smile, and suddenly, all my nervousness melted away. We had a great time, watching a comedy and laughing together. Though this date was simple, it was significant for me because it taught me how to handle nerves and relax during a date. Once, I planned a hiking date with a girl to enjoy the tranquility of the outdoors. We had everything prepared, including picnic food and a map. However, things don't always go according to plan. After hiking for a while, we got lost. We found ourselves in an unfamiliar forest with no idea which way to go. Initially, we felt a bit worried, but soon decided to treat this as an adventure. We started looking for markers to lead us back while chatting and sharing stories about ourselves. This experience of getting lost brought us closer together because we had to cooperate to solve the problem. Eventually, we found our way back to the car, leaving us with wonderful memories. One of my favorite dates was a culinary adventure with my partner. We both share a love for food and enjoy trying various cuisines. So, one day, we decided to have a special date exploring different restaurants and street food vendors in the city. We started in the morning with a visit to a cozy cafe for a delightful breakfast. Then, we went to an Italian restaurant, indulging in various pasta dishes. Next on our list was an Indian restaurant where we sampled a range of curries and spices. In the evening, we wrapped up our food journey with a lavish seafood dinner. This date not only satisfied our taste buds but also brought us closer. We shared our preferences and tastes, leaving behind wonderful memories. This date taught me that dating can be not just romantic but also filled with fun and adventure. I once went on a cultural expedition date with someone who had a keen interest in different cultures. We visited museums and art exhibitions together, exploring the art and history of diverse cultures. We planned this date over a weekend and visited several museums and galleries to learn about the art and history of different cultures. At the museums, we admired ancient artifacts and learned about various historical events and traditions. We also discussed the cuisines and customs of different cultures, sharing our perspectives and opinions. This date helped us appreciate the diversity of the world and gain a deeper understanding of each other's values and interests. Dating is a wonderful social activity that allows us to build strong connections and learn to enjoy the pleasures of life. In this article, I shared some of my own dating experiences, hoping to encourage you to try new dating approaches, relax, and savor quality time with your partner or potential partner. Whether it's a simple movie date, an unexpected adventure, a culinary journey, or a cultural expedition, each date can create precious memories and help us discover more about ourselves and others. Most importantly, dating isn't just about finding love, it can also be a journey of self-discovery. I hope you all enjoy the dating process, bravely pursue your happiness, and create beautiful memories. 
May you find your happiness and fulfillment in your dates. Thanks for listening. Hey everyone, I want to talk about some interesting dating experiences I've had. Dating is a unique adventure that helps you learn more about yourself and your partner while creating beautiful memories. While everyone's dating experiences are different, I hope that by sharing mine, I can offer some inspiration and insight. I still remember my very first date at a local cafe. We were introduced by mutual friends and decided to meet up on a weekend. I was quite clueless about dating back then, so I was extremely nervous. I spent a long time picking out the right outfit and even practiced introducing myself at home. But when I met him, all my nerves disappeared. We ordered some coffee and snacks at the cafe, and our conversation flowed smoothly. We discovered many shared interests, making our talk enjoyable. I started to relax and had a great time. This date was simple, but it marked a wonderful beginning to my dating experiences. My second date was an unforgettable outdoor adventure. We decided to go hiking in the nearby woods, a first-time experience for me. We packed some food and water and embarked on our adventure. In the forest, we enjoyed the beauty of nature, listened to the birds' songs, and even spotted a cute squirrel. We chatted and shared personal stories, feeling closer to each other with every step. This close-to-nature experience made me feel more connected to him and helped me understand him better. When we stumbled upon a beautiful waterfall, he surprised me by pulling out a bouquet of flowers. It was a touching moment, and taking a photo in front of the waterfall remains one of the most cherished memories of my life. My third date introduced me to the world of art. We visited a local art gallery and explored an art exhibition together. Although I didn't know much about art, he patiently explained things to me, making me feel more knowledgeable about the subject. After the gallery visit, we went to a small restaurant and ordered delicious dishes. That evening, we not only savored good food but also experienced the beauty of art and culture. My fourth date was all about the magic of music. We attended a live concert and listened to a talented musician performing. The music filled the air, enchanting our senses. After the concert, we headed to a cozy bar and discussed various music-related topics. I discovered that we both had a deep passion for music, which made our conversation even more enjoyable. This date not only exposed me to wonderful music but also allowed me to hear the symphony of his inner world. My final date was a culinary adventure. We decided to explore different restaurants in the city and sample various cuisines. From Japanese sushi to Italian pasta, we tried a wide range of delectable dishes. During this date, we not only satisfied our taste buds but also shared our food preferences with each other. I realized that we both enjoyed trying new foods, which brought us closer. This date made me appreciate the charms of food and the intimacy it can create between people. Through these dating experiences, I've learned a lot about myself and the dating process. I've realized that dating doesn't have to be complicated, simple interactions can bring happiness and fulfillment. Moreover, sharing common interests and experiences with your partner is crucial. 
Each date is an opportunity for learning and growth, helping us understand ourselves better. I've been fortunate to have these wonderful dating experiences, and they have left me with treasured memories. Most importantly, dating is not just about finding love, it's also about building deep friendships. Whether it's with a partner or a friend, every date is a precious experience that helps us cherish our relationships. I hope everyone can create beautiful memories and enjoy the happiness and fulfillment in their own dating experiences. Don't be afraid to try new things. As dating is an opportunity for personal growth and experiencing life to the fullest. I wish everyone finds their happiness and memorable dating experiences.